This collection was about the uh, cinematic idea of beauty. Oh, neorealism. It was about Roma. Roma. <laughs> neorealism. We are Roman, so it was about Cinecittà, the first period of uh, Antonioni in black and white. We want to maintain the tradition of our brand, but at the same time we want to push our brand in the future, and so we mix our personal style with our culture. For sure, with our heritage. When I'm designing shoes, when I'm doing my collection, the truth is that I always think women, but I also think conversation. It can come definitely from a conversation. It can come from a lot of places. I love objects, fine arts, objects in general. So that's really a thing that I, which is always recurrent in my, in my drawings. You know, I let it go. I let it float. It was a collection about the slickness side of my style. It's a collection that is very, very faithful to my point of view of women. They are like so in balance with their own femininity and uh, they are proud of it. So this is very important. Even if I'm a dressmaker, but you know, I mean, I prefer to see first like the personality of the woman, like, you know, the aura of her, and then you see the rest. So the inspiration of the show at the beginning, it was like to show look-alike person. And after, I was thinking clone, yes, but clone of what? Of people in music that have inspired so the ones that were like have a correspondence between music and fashion. So I was thinking about like David Bowie. Uh, I was thinking about Grace Jones. So it was like a kind of a influence of the past, but uh, to put it in a modern way, you know, in a more modern way. No, I was feeling like for something a bit joyful and I started to look at picture of people in holidays, some picture of Hawaiian people uh, in the 50s and then I, I went more into French vacation and it was like more about images of Saint-Tropez. For me it's like the, the freeness, the, the, the way that you just don't wear a lot of clothes and you just grab things quite simple and you, you you look good in it. After my last winter show, I went to Miami for three weeks and I just felt completely in love with Cuban feelings that you can see in Miami. So I wanted to mix the American feelings and uh, emotion and uh, designs with like the Cuba sensuality and the Latin power. So I came back to Paris and I wanted to, to work on this Miami Cuba feelings. You could see like the clothes are like wicker in water with like the wicker chair that you could see in the in some pubs in Miami, Latin pubs and so it was a mix. It's like Latin power in Miami. That was the concept. We cannot like see some part of the faces or recognize us. Well, everyone is part of the Maison, be it in the actual head office or in the stores. We all wear this white blouse blanche, as we call it. And basically, it's, so, it's our uniform. It, it doesn't distinguish you from who may be in the creative team to who is in marketing to who is in anything. We all wear it. We're all part of the same house. We're all part of the same Maison Martin Langella. And it's, it's a nice way of just unifying us as a team. I think we are in the time where our vision has to be more com inclusive and I think social media really makes us think in a, in a, in a new way. I meet people and then they, they're like, oh, you know, you should do like this or you should, you know, change it like this or I love what you're doing. I feel like I, you know, I have lots of um, stylists working with me, you know, because they have their opinions and I mean, people say that I'm like the master of social media, but I'm, I'm not, you know, it's just for me, I use it as everyone else. Maybe it's just the designers that are a little bit old school. Yeah, I think more designers should 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 work like this. All right, bye.